Welcome to Electra Online. Just to make sure we got the concept of how to find the mean and how to find the standard deviation when we're dealing with the binomial distribution, well, let's do another example. Here we have n equals 20, that means there's 20 trials. The possibility for success or the probability for success is 0.2 or 20%, and the probability of failure is 0.8. So, what is the mean, the average expected outcome, and what is the standard deviation? All right, let's go ahead and first find the mean, and that is defined by the number of trials times the probability of success. So in this case, the number of trials is 20, and the probability of success is 0 0.2. So that would be 4. So that would be what we call the mean or the average expected value in this particular case. All right, now the standard deviation. So sigma is equal to the square root of the number of trials times the probability of success times the probability of failure. So in this case, that's the square root of, there's 20 trials, the probability of success is 0 0.2, and the probability of failure is 0 0.8. Now for this, we're going to need a calculator. So we have a 20 times 0.2 times 0.8, that's 3.2, take the square root of that, we get 1.789, 1 1.789. And so typically what we'll see in the next chapter is that we end up adding and subtracting the standard deviation from the mean to see what the distribution of expected values is, but we're not there yet, that's for the next chapter. Here at least, now we know how to calculate the mean and the standard deviation when we're dealing with the binomial distribution. And that is how it's done. Done for tonight. All right.